face the live stream. So, do we have an announcement this morning? Well, there will be a prayer meeting on this coming Thursday at Kosak Church at 7 p.m. And also, there will be youth gathering on March 9 at Kosak Church at 11 30 on Saturday. So, after Bryson will come and <laughs> any others who want to come, please join us our youth gathering on Saturday. And there will be spring fair on Saturday, March 16th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Cook Church Fellowship Hall. And we are continuing having a Lent Wednesday prayer service at Cook Church. Um, uh, this, well, this Wednesday we, we have no fellowship, so well, we'll have a service at 7 p.m. at the sanctuary. So for two weeks, uh, this coming Wednesday and following Wednesday, uh, we're going to have a fellowship because of the preparation for spring fair, but we will continue to have service at 7 p.m. And especially this coming Wednesday, uh, Pastor Steve, to a uh, friend of mine, as the UFC pastor, he will uh, visit us and, and he will deliver a message for us on Wednesday. So please join us this Wednesday. And also, there will be a meeting with Bishop uh, Thomas Bickerton on Monday. March 11th at 6 30 p.m. at St. James UMC in Kingston. So, if you want to attend the meeting or want to register, please let me know until today. So, I can register for you. So, is there any other announcement? So, we are reminded that this is the day that the Lord has made. So, we gather together and worship the Lord. This time, I invite you to stand as I will and do me our call to worship which is response to it. Come with us on this lantern journey to the temple. The temple is a great, great house of the Lord. <laughs> but sometimes even greed and selfishness can enter the temple. Be with us, Lord, as we enter the temple. The Lord will be asking us to recognize our selfishness. Lord, hear our cries. Amen. And today's opening hymn is Be Thou My Vision in our hymn number 451. 451.
O God, we call you for reason in the hearts of sorrow, to fulfill us what you will do. We pray and look into your laws. Again and again, we call the Lord of your laws to the children. Rather than your holy and life, we do the Lord of your laws. For we call us to God, and put on us to some beautiful laws, that the words of our mouths and the meditations of our own hearts may be acceptable to you, our God, our Redeemer. Our God shows steadfast love and blesses to those thousands generations, those who walk in God's ways. We love God sent Jesus to bless and redeem God's people. And God forgives our sins and restores us to new life. So let us rejoice in our God's mercy. Amen. 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 <coughs> We open our faith through the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the house of Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended to heaven and stood at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From the end, she shall come from the judge to awaken the dead. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of God, and the life everlasting. Amen. And as we continue, please join me to pray for the living nature. O Lord, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us grace to receive your truth in your faith and love, and strength to follow on the path which is set before us. Through Jesus Christ, amen.
When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So why did Jesus clean the temple when he saw people purchasing the animal and eating the money? That was a common thing, right? During the Passover time. I think Jesus was mad about what they were doing. From this story, Jesus revealed the limitations of the old way of worship. This story is also about changes to come 
in the old way of worship that Jews kept for many years. Purchasing sacrificial animals and exchanging the money made to convey many people's habits. And people were so used to doing that and start to fill their hearts of the even for their worship. And the Temple of Jerusalem was considered a place of worship, and pilgrims had to travel to Jerusalem to worship God in the Temple. And they prepared animals and celebrated Passover and worshiped God there in the Temple, as their ancestors did for several years. However, today's other reading, John chapter 4, tells us about worship a little differently. In today's reading, Jesus was going to Galilee from Judea. He was passing through Samaria. And when Jesus and his disciples arrived at our cipher, our Samaritan city, he sent his disciples to the town for food. And he was sitting by the well as if he was waiting for someone. You know his story, right? And soon after, a Samaritan woman came to the well to do water. And Jesus started to talk to her. And today's reading is the end part of the conversation between Jesus and the Samaritan woman. And the conversation between them has been shifted to worship. Verse 19 to 20 says that, The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worship on this mountain, but you say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. This woman is talking about the place of worship. Samaritans didn't worship God in Jerusalem, but they worship God at the Mount and Galilee. Interesting, right? Verse two and chapter two talk about Jews and all the pilgrims coming to Jesus worship God. Or when Jesus was in Samaria, Samaria, they didn't travel to Jerusalem. They worshiped in different places. And Deuteronomy chapter 11, and verse 29 says, When the Lord your God has brought you into the land that you are entering to occupy, you shall set the blessing on Mount Gerizim. And chapter 12 and 11 says, Then you shall bring everything that I command you to the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for His name, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithe and your donations, and all your choice votive gifts that you vow to hold. So, for Samaritans, the place of worship is not a Jerusalem temple, but Mount Gerizim. So do you think Jews and Samaritans can agree with about worship? And place a worship location where they should go and worship. So in the old concept of worship, they cannot worship God together. They do not associate with each other. They do not talk, nor eat and live together. However, in today's reading, Jesus came to Samaria and was waiting for one Samaritan woman to talk to give living water and to teach about a new way of worship. You know, Jews and pilgrims had to travel to Jerusalem to worship God in the temple, but Jesus travels to Samaritan woman today. And Jews and Samaritans both had to sacrifice animals to worship God, but Jesus sacrificed himself later. To break down every limitation, obstacle, and wall to invite everyone to worship God to again. When Jesus cleansed the temple, the Jews asked Jesus, asked him, So what sign can you show us for doing this? Why are you doing this? And Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it. But Jesus didn't speak about the Jerusalem temple, but he was speaking of his mouth. And in John chapter 4, Jesus said to the Samaritan woman, He said, 
Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the time is coming. When He comes, He will proclaim all things to us. And Jesus said to her, I am He, the one who is speaking. So from today's readings, Jesus revealed himself as a new temple. He revealed himself to the woman as Messiah. Jesus cleansed the temple, revealed and teach them that Jesus is Messiah at his new temple. And through his death on the cross and resurrection, he opened the path for everyone to worship God. No matter who they are or where they are, Jesus invites everyone who comes before God and worships God. In Romans chapter 10, verse 12 and 13, Paul says that, For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is the Lord of all and is generous to all who call on Him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. 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 And Jesus said, God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship His spirit and truth. And we are invited to worship God in spirit and truth. When the Holy Spirit comes on us and pours on our hearts, our minds, and our lives, and our churches, we can worship God in spirit and truth. So friends, Jesus Christ came to this world to invite us to this new way of worship. He broke and cleansed every obstacle that separated us from God. And He became a sacrificial lamb for us and died from the cross. But He raised from the dead in three days and, spent, and sent us the Holy Spirit to worship God in spirit and truth. So how would you respond to this invitation from Jesus? Jesus doesn't care whether you were at the temples selling the selfish uh, animals or at the well drawing your empty water jar. And Jesus doesn't care how people think about you. But Jesus only cares about you and He wants you to worship God in freedom. For you, he became the temple. For us, Jesus opened the door to salvation and to worship. So friends, I, I want us to think about our worship again. And every Sunday we have service <coughs> that you might come to the church regularly as a home. Or you came today with some concerns or some desperation. But for this time, we do not think about our people, but only focus on Jesus Christ. And, it, and empty your heart to accept Jesus and fill them with His love. Fill your heart with His open grace and forgiveness. You know, and thank you for your for your Christmas blessing. We have a virtual order right here. But doing all the orders of our bulletin is not virtual. Knowing all the things does not mean you are crazy. And doing the long prayer does not always mean you are praying. You may be satisfied with attending church service regularly, but Jesus was crucified and resurrected not for the worship service, but to open our true worshipers to worship God and spirit and truth. So this time of Lent, I pray, I invite you to remember Jesus' invitation to worship God and spirit and truth. And I hope we can experience the Holy Spirit's power to fill our broken jars with grace and love. Let us pray.
God of spirit and truth, thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to us and inviting us to worship you with freedom. We gather together in this place to worship you. So please speak to us and guide us on how to live and how to serve you and your people. And please pour your spirit on us and make us work to invite others to your presence. In the name of Jesus we pray, Amen. 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 And this time, I invite you again to stand as you are able. Or as we sing our next hymn, Beneath the Cross of Jesus. In the number 297. 297. I'd like to share a note that Abby sent. As many of you know, Abby lost her sister, Gigi, um, a week and a half or so ago. And I don't know if all of you know, but she'd also lost her aunt the week before. Um, and then her mother was in the hospital, and then her mother got out, and it's, it's been pretty tough. But So she wrote, My dear friends, thank you doesn't seem adequate enough for your outpouring of love, care, and sympathy you have given to me and my family with the unexpected death of my sister Gigi. 
The gift card to Rolf's Orchard was so heartwarming and brought tears to my eyes. Your prayers are felt and so very much appreciated. I ask for continued prayers, especially for my mom. Our hearts will heal. God will make sure of it. I love and miss you all so very much. to thank everyone for their prayers for my son. He made it through his solo trip in Peru to the outward, whatever crazy places he went to. And his wife has joined him now, and now they're on a, a healing retreat place that they went to. So now at least I know he's safe. Very good. <laughs> um, also, I want to say thank you to all your prayers made, Renee. Get home. <laughs> but, Not walking either. <laughs> but she has to come, come back, right? Uh, she yeah. has to come back and pick up that car that's still not fixed. <laughs> so, yes, hopefully it will be driven around for a while. Yeah. It's a joy to see Donna. She's back from right now. She stayed at home at Walmart, right? Just about three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. Yes. Oh, yeah. Make it through it. Thanks, thanks so much for your prayer. So, it's so always good. I wonder why yeah, Shane, uh, I had to do the first of So, can you test for mask of feeding? Okay, so I. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you for, yeah, for, for me for doing so. Chaplaincy, Star Chaplaincy, I want to do So, tomorrow. Um, I don't know if everyone knows, but our church has going, been going through surgery of the week. Um, two weeks ago, Richard had his knee done, and we're so happy he went well, and he's back Thank with you us. So much. Thank you. This week, uh, Renita had had a total knee done. She's not oh, joining boy. us, but is hopefully doing well. And uh, this week, Barry will be having some surgery, and so um, we're prayers for him, and everything goes well. Yes. And also, we had a joy yesterday because Kathleen and I <laughs> spent a very long day. We went to see Gail Palmer, who's been on our list for a long, long time. She's doing very well in rehab and will come home this week. Ooh, and then we went to see Doc. And, um, so, and she's doing well there. She would love to be home. But, you know, she loves to have visitors if anybody can get there. She's at Daughters of Sarah, and it's a lovely place, and it's a very nice place to visit. But we started out at 12.30, and we didn't get home till 6.30 last night. Oh, so wow. We had a long, good day of it. But it was a great day to begin, because it was miserable out anyways, right? Okay. <laughs> so, so, pray for the day, for very soon coming further and first day, and for that, and the other person. Yeah, I was just going to say thank you for everybody coming today, and we hope you like the back seat quarters. <laughs> we do, and that reminds me, you know, we have an Easter egg hunt at noon time on Easter, so please, please come with all these kids. We love like it. Oh, yeah. 
it's good to have Donna back. <laughs> yes. 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 It wasn't my mother's idea. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she tried everything to keep me there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you had a good time with her. Let's pray together. <coughs> oh my God. Well, thank you for allowing us this beautiful day and wonderful today. Today, we come to this place to worship you. With Julie and Simon, for viewers abroad, our concerns, our names, our dear ones, and the situation to you. So, Lord, we need you. We need your guidance, your forgiveness, and your protection and your grace. Please be with our brothers and sisters. We're going to have surgery or recovery from surgery. We're having a hard time right now. Our morning, what is sadness? We don't know how to respond to them, how to comfort them. But we know that you are our comforter. And you bring joy and peace to everyone. Please be with them and use us to bring your peace to them. Hello. After this worship service, let us remember that you are called us to go up to the Lord and worship there and worship with others, worship you with spirit and spirit and truth. So let us transform us as three worshipers and serve you and your people in your world. And thank you, we love you. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you. Live up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, who formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turn away and our love fails, your love remains steadfast. You deliver us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through the prophet. And so, with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed 
blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed in the house. And holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. The Spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set a liberty to those who are oppressed, and to announce that the time had come when you save your people. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate with sinners. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and spirit. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word and Holy Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself for us, he took the bread. And gave it to his disciples and blessed it and broke it. And he said, This is my body, which is given for you. Take it and do this in the remembrance of you. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you and gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, for for you and for the one many, for forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as drink it, in remembrance of you. And so, in remembrance of this, your mighty act, in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's suffering for us. As we proclaim the mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And pray your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on this gift of bread and wine. Make them before us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by His blood. And by your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at His heavenly banquet. And through your Son, Jesus Christ, to the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And let us pray together the prayer that Jesus has us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, and forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not from temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So, this time, I invite you to come forward and receive God's grace and give it to you through Jesus Christ.